and we're back with some more Batman. 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 And I am driving the Batmobile, and we were talking about Batman's crazy. Yes, Batman is the batshit crazy. All right. Batshit. And, <laughs> all right. That was fun. So what was oh, the thing? Oh, oh yeah. Shit. On the last episode, I was discussing that you know, everyone, you everyone could be crazy if they had that one bad day. Okay. All right. Yes. So what made it kind of like you know? Raise the question whether Batman was crazy or not, or how Alan Moore, the writer uh, for the uh, Killing Joke, was what he showed was a uh, Joker. He told that joke to some guy, all right. Which and joke? What was it? It was a pretty bad joke, and you know, no one was uh, laughing. Okay, it was a, I guess a, a dad no, joke. <laughs> not a dad joke. I laugh at those all the time. <laughs> you laugh at my dad's jokes. Well, yeah, your dad's hilarious, dude. Yeah, your dad's so funny. Okay, but anyway. I laugh at my dad's jokes, too, and they're not even jokes. They're okay, but dumb. it was a dark humor one, okay? okay, okay when you okay, told okay, that okay, to okay. Gordon, Gordon is like, that's not, that's not funny at all. That's just, that's just crazy. Yeah. That's it. But then when Joker told it to Batman, if I remember the joke, was uh, two guys, you know, they were in prison, like, a prison like Alcatraz, okay? One day they decide they, they were tired of it. They are going to escape. I need to. So while they were escaping and you know they got through the island and you know that they're at the area, however it was really dark and there's that ledge okay. that they need to jump over. So pretty in depth joke. One guy jumps over and he's like, "Hey, dude, I'll jump over." And he's like, "Nah, man, I don't want to." He's like, "Hey, dude, I'll I have a flashlight. Okay, I'll flash over it, and you know you'll, you'll so you can see the stepway and you'll jump over." He's like, "The other guy is like, nah, man." You did that, and I'm already dead! It's not funny at all, right? Oh, took me a while. Batman laughed like crazy on that. Yeah, and Joker was also. Okay, Joker's like, <laughs> And then Batman's like, <laughs> And that also raised the question. They're both crazy. Yeah. Okay, as much as we like to think that Batman is in control of... BT kind of dubs, in control of his emotion, he is, he is crazy. I don't know how to get out of this. Oh, I'm the truck like or the city? No, I mean like a challenge thing. Charge okay. the missile barrage to level two to destroy four times as many. I need to Why? Well, I don't know how to do that though. It says I need to destroy that. I need to charge missile. I'm yeah, trying to. Um, what's your secondary weapon? Because you gotta power that up to level two. What? What's your secondary weapon? I don't know. Batman. I, yeah. Because that's what Batman's saying. How do I charge it up? I don't know. There you go. Oh, okay. So square, 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 square. By the way, there's, oh, an four there's another thing I want to talk about. And it's <laughs> not square. just... Four square. It, it, anyway, another issue I want to talk about. Another issue I want to talk about. When, yes. Concerning about superheroes. Okay. And this is not just DC. This is also Marvel. In fact, Marvel Universe is going to talk about it next year. Okay. And this was a pretty big issue back in the 80s. Should Spider-Man be part of the Avengers? <laughs> well, he is. He is. <laughs> He's already... Uh, yeah. He is. Superhero restriction. Okay. Okay. In fact, The Incredibles also. I was about that's okay. what, exactly what I was thinking. During the 1980s, when they released Watchmen and then The Dark Knight Rises, you see where heroes have to be tracked. Okay, heroes cannot be allowed to patrol in the city. Mm -hmm. And then you know, in the Marvel universe, they talked about like, should heroes be watched over? Like you know, they should answer to someone. They should be registered. Or should they not? Now in the DC universe, all the heroes except Superman decided we cannot be registered. And you know what? They got out of the job. And Superman became the enforcer for the United States to make sure superheroes don't go crazy. Mm -hmm. In fact, he even went as far as to almost kill Batman and others. Is that what this upcoming movie, Batman vs. Superman, is Yes, gonna it's going to also talk about that. Okay. Yeah, because, uh, but in fact, it's going to be more offset where Batman piece of shit out of Superman as Superman's should. crazy. Or... Well, Who wears his underwear ones. on the wrong side of the pants? Well, not, not, in the, not in the movie. Not in the movie. Oh. But more like, you know, how dangerous a figure of Superman is. I mean, the guy could send the Earth to the sun if he wants. Anyway, but another another reason why I want to talk about this was the fact that Marvel Civil War is going to come that in theaters. Looks interesting. Yes. So the question I've been dying to ask. Yes. Dying. Are you pro or against... Ooh. 
uh, the issue of registering superheroes. Um, Iron Man is for it, right? Yes. Iron Man is for registering. Cap is against. Cap exactly. America is against. Okay, like, what are the arguments, okay? First of all, in the Marvel Universe, the issue came out of the fact that a rookie, say, superhero, in order to get views Speedball. on a TV show... Speedball? In order to get reviews, he was fighting against these super villains. However, things got crazy, and the super villain exploded next to in a like an elementary school. Oh, killing! I think it was a hundred kids. A lot right. of people. Mm -hmm. Well, mostly kids. Okay, and this everyone's been calling the heroes. Kids are people. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> They're like half the people. What do you think will evoke more emotion on a headline? A hundred people killed or a hundred kids killed? A hundred, exactly. A hundred dogs killed. Honestly, it'd nah. be close. <laughs> But anyway, a hundred bunnies killed. However, yeah. Captain like Playboy bunnies. Tony Tony Stark <laughs> yes. his issue was yes, okay, we can no longer you know not be responsible for the damages we caused. Captain America, he's worried about corruption. He's worried that you know some uh, higher up he will u misuse the superheroes, kind of like how it is in the DC universe when the Dark Knight Rises, Superman and is the only registered hero. In the United States use him for war. And the fact that he pretty much ended uh, the Cold War by destroying Russia. Or like... Uh, and in fact, will do anything that in the United States without even questioning in order. Or like in the second Captain America movie when... Uh, exactly, when S.H.I.E.L.D. was, uh, was in infiltrated. Rated, yeah. By... Uh, what are they called? Red... The Hydra. Red, yeah, Red Souls thing. So anyway, <laughs> both issues have their points. Both issues have their problems. Hydra, Hydra infected shield and started infecting their, started infecting their airports, <laughs> their airplanes. Hey, hey, Captain Nick Fury or Captain Nick Fury, Nick it's Fury, Nick Fury, Nick Fury, Nick Fury. How do you feel about those motherfuckers snakes on those <laughs> motherfucking planes? Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Okay, that's good. But so my main issue. Yes. Uh, another thing I want to point out is the fact that a lot of superhero comics in Japan. They are, f they are pro registering heroes. Are they? Yes. They're superhero comics in Japan. Every yeah, they have a few. Like uh, for one is, I know Ratman. I robots? know actually One Punch Man. One oh, Punch yeah. Man. Nice. Yeah, he is a registered nice superhero. Anti comment. No. Oh okay. <laughs> you keep telling me to shut up. I don't appreciate it. I, I don't like the fact that you're adding porn into a very serious discussion. Well, Poison Ivy's right there, not wearing any pants. What do you true. say? That's true. But anyway. I say Captain America's right. That's all I'm going to... So just, he is I'm Cap against uh, yes, registering soldiers. Why do you even Regist um, registering the heroes. heroes. Regist yes. Yeah. I think they should stay unregistered. Because it's part of the secret identity, protecting your family. Yeah. Uh, they can't be it used. Is. And in fact, Spider-Man in the beginning was pro, actually. I think... Believe it or not, Spider-Man was pro in the beginning. Uh, spoiler alert for anyone who did not read the Civil War... Spider-Man was pro and even went as far as to show his identity to everyone. I think it's something that has to be like... I think the heroes need to, need to like, kind of govern themselves a little bit. Like, the, the veterans, but who's like... Re but who's responsible? The veterans, like, Cap and them need to be like, yeah. hey, speedball and all you guys need to chill for a minute. So, much like the U.S. government, they have a check and balance system where you have the board of directors... You got the executive, judicial people balancing each other out. But if they cause any damage, then who are they supposed to answer to? Exactly. So if it comes to just point blank, plain and simple, bottom line, should they be registered or not, I am leaning towards leave them unregistered. you rather leave them unregistered? So also... For the exact reason of the not just corruption in humans... <laughs> using them wrong, but the superheroes can beat up the humans too, and they feel like they're yeah. being violated. We just unleashed the world's most lethal weapons, if you will. Six? In fact, that's, an that's another thing about, uh, what you call it, in the DC universe, uh, when, you know, in fact, uh, when, nice it, when Superman versus... BT dubs. Wait, what? what was it? I said uh, nice vending Superman machine. versus oh, yeah. Batman movie. I mean, everyone's calling Superman a false god, because, you know, the guy is doing good, but what if he turns on against everyone? And, you know, gotta make sure that guy is... You could trust that he's not... He's on your side. I mean, no one wants a false god to start attacking you. Hey, it's Bane. There he is. Speaking, right. of, My bad. speaking of governments uh, and the city, 
This has nothing to do with either of those things. Doesn't have anything to do with this. It does have something to do with Batman. Very serious issue that I brought up. It has something to do with another serious issue. Okay. And that is Bat Kid. Don't even. San Francisco. Bat Don't Kid. even. First of uh, all, it's old news. You're like a, two years behind the time. Make a wish yes. foundation. I I just heard. I want to hear your your Listen. enthralling argument on the subject. Okay, so of why a terminally ill child should not have been. Okay, Batman. so I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, especially because I'm from the Bay is, Area and San Francisco Bat Kid was very local. In fact, when I was at work, I'm on Facebook during my break, and I see people updating posts of Bat Kid. Some people were there, and very inspiring story. It was really cute. It was actually a really awesome setup that they did for the whole city of San Francisco. But why? Okay, I understand that Make-A-Wish Foundation does a lot of do. A lot of good things for the terminally ill yes. children. Yeah. And if there's one thing that I will <laughs> never, ever, ever deny is that, or not deny, but one thing is, that's very, I know, it's going to sound weird saying with all the jokes I make, but kids are perhaps the closest thing we have to pure innocence in this world. Yeah. So if we're trying to do something to better a kid's life, then yes, I'm for it. Kids should be protected at all costs. Okay. They're our future. But, with that being good, said... Good disclaimer, good disclaimer. With that being said, yes, it is very unfortunate that a small kid who had no... has basically his chance at life taken away from him at such a young age. Three years... Oh, how old was that kid? Five? No, I think it was Three? Like eight. Eight or nine. I don't know. Eight? But that's still young. So, yes, that does suck. He's terminally ill. He's a kid. He, he doesn't even know who he is yet. But what my question is, is this, yes. why are you going to do this to Bat Kid when there are thousands and thousands and thousands of kids in the world? Do you know how many kids you could have fed with the money you used to set up San Francisco that day? Go ahead and guess. Okay. How much money do you think was going into that day? And do you know what? People are saying, oh, go Bat Kid. Bat Kid saved the day. I can sleep better now because Bat Kid is. Guess what? Two days later, they forgot all about the terminally ill. They forgot all about Make a Wish. Back here was a freaking trend, and everyone wanted to be a part of it. They wanted to see it. They wanted to witness it. They wanted to post about it. Do not exploit kids for your own gain to make yourself feel good. If you're not going to donate, if you're not going to be helping the cause, then I don't want to say you're part of the problem, but you sure ain't help part of the solution. So, yes, I am against Bat Kid because for that reason. <laughs> because for that reason. Because for that reason. Yes, it is really awesome how Make-A-Wish could grant the dreams of little kids. Yes. But I will say this, by some miraculous sight, because in my head he's three or four years old. Yes. In like ten years, he's going to be a teenager. Do you think he's going to remember how that well, felt? Well, that's if he, if he lives. If he lives. If he lives. Of course. It's more so for the people watching it. They're inspired, but if you're not acting out on it, which most people I know didn't, what good did it do? It brought awareness. That's awesome. But that's also like the ALS challenge. Yes. Yes. Everyone just wanted to pour ice on their head. They did nothing to help the cause. Guess and, what? And, well, Months I later, think ALS we... ALS was... Or, or, that was a poor example, because believe it or not, that... You're cause, right, they did. While it was, you know, oh, dump ice and all that, but some... Well, everyone actually, well, the majority did donate money. And believe it or not, they raised hundreds of thousands. You know of what? Dollars. I believe that. It's okay. just I'm with the wrong crowd. So that's probably no, why no, I'm also against that. There's probably kid. another issue you could have brought up. It's just, hey, that was a bad like, example? Bad, that was a bad so example. So maybe this bad kid in Make-A-Wish, maybe they got a little bit more donations out of that as well. That's awesome. I, I always thought it's just, you know, celebrities that just donate to Make-A-Wish. Well, yeah, I don't, I really don't know. But at mm -hmm. the same time, there were thousands and thousands and thousands of people who took their day off to witness Bat Kid save the city, and how many of them actually do you think followed up on them? That is true. How many of those dollars that was set to set up the actors, just close down the city, the people's jobs that they're doing, or well, they're the, not doing because they're there? Well, I think the I think the guy with the Lambo, uh, who was playing Batman, uh, I think he's just some rich guy who they didn't like actually pay. Yeah. I think he just donated his okay, time. Okay, that's one person. I don't know. I don't um, know all the situation. So maybe I'm speaking falsehood right now, and I deserve even more flame. Can I'll take I, it. Can I bring up an Can I bring up an argument against that though? Please do. do. Um, my argument is: you, you said like they could have fed like hungry kids, right, or like hungry other people in other countries, or even here. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I did say that. My argument for all of that is, 
and we're getting pretty deep here on the Grand Line Studios. You're right. the one who brought it up. Dude, I did. We were deep whenever, as soon as I brought the. This is okay. true. Yes. But my my argument is my argument is, for someone to be happy, someone else somewhere else needs to suffer. It there is there is almost uh, unless in yeah except that's in a, America's motto. Except yeah. in a perfect world, there is no way you can have everyone happy without some without at least someone you know what suffering. except you in made, communism and you made that kid's day you made his parents okay. day but communism guess what i hate to be the guy to say it out loud i don't even know if he's still alive <laughs> that well, is true wow I'm not, I'm not, that is it, i'm yeah. not gonna lie we kind of did forget about that kid until you recently brought that it up. is true i only so, brought it up because i heard kish's argument and i wanted to hear what he had so, to say about it please tell me well actually i'm probably, we're probably gonna look this up as soon as How do I get either this here? episode's over nah, or I, I, I think home. i think the question of the day would be are you pro red shrink heroes or what is <laughs> come on that was an issue i brought that was an important issue forget your issue that was the most important issue of the day. Yes, it was. <laughs> Serving it up Mad Hatter's way. Yes, it is. You oh, all know man. it. Oh, so I'm letting this go on a little bit further. I, I did want to bring up a really not important issue at all. I like Scarecrow's design in this game. Okay, cool. He actually looked pretty awesome. I really plan on... Oh, hey, look, it's... Uh, His design wasn't bad in uh, Alfred? Arkham it's Asylum. Alfred. That is Alfred. His trusty... Uh, his father figure. Yes. Um, but figure, I, I was going to say, I want to cosplay the Scarecrow from this game. Oh, dude, I want it too, but I'm not. <laughs> uh, just in case you didn't see me over there, this is the face to start hating after you heard all that. <laughs> I wonder who's going to edit these episodes. Is that going to be Kish? I don't know. I guess I'm still overhanging on this guy. Let's see here. Deep tissue scanner. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna tissue. I'm gonna scan his deep tissue. Blow his nose. Yes. Yeah, find out who it is. Oh, hey, he's got a bone thing. What is that? Yeah, something lodged in their bone. These are all Batman gadgets. Uh, Batman is an amazing detective. Batman. And that's one thing they didn't really expose so much on the what was the Christopher Nolan and Batman movies. The fact that Batman is a brilliant detective. You know what? You know what I like from the Batman movies. I like Mr. Freeze, Arnold Schwarzenegger, oh, Mr. God. Freeze. <laughs> that wasn't the worst. Hey, hey, Batman. You know what you need to do? Chill. <laughs> <laughs> what was the other big line? Of um, he was, what killed the, the dinosaurs? dinosaurs? The Ice <laughs> Age. <laughs> he had a bunch in that movie. He was on a roll. They served him some really good horrible lines. Horrible. Yes. If I'm if I'm correct, I think that's actually where Mr. Freeze came from. They actually made the villain Mr. Vill Freeze. Yeah. I like his I like him in like the actual series, uh, where he's more of a, like a smart guy. I mean, I know they were trying to make him an actual smart guy, like uh, you know, over uh, in, in that movie. But uh, I don't. I, they didn't accomplish it very well. Arnold Schwarzenegger was not the best choice for that. I think he was. <laughs> <laughs> when it, was released, it was released in the 80s, right? Yes. Yeah. 30, 35 years later, might have been, we're still talking it, about it. might have been early 90s. 20 years later, still being talked about for the right reasons you tell me, but it's still being talked about. Hmm. Let me see here. I, I need to dip, deep tissue scan this guy. I'm only 60% done. I don't know what else to do. Oh, oh, he's got a thing. On his ear? On his ear. Or is the thing Deformed his ear? His ear is the thing. Looks like Completed. A oh, hey. Ear agenesis. Anthony Lund. Okay. Who, uh, the victim's name is so we're 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 gonna end this with that question, right? What what is the registration thing, right? Well, which side are you on? Okay. Anyway, I think you said that you were cap. So you were for the captain side, you were for. I was against registering as well. So you were for the captain side. I'm also not a registered voter. Are you not really? I keep forgetting to sign. I I might be. I never voted. I'm a registered voter, but I vote for people who aren't I, even on the ballot. I tell ever. people I'm not 18 yet. <laughs> Do they believe you? Uh, they people used to. Still. I mean, this was a couple years ago. But a couple years ago, I was still in my 20s. So, <laughs> I mean, I was exactly 20. So, so but and Matt Hatter, we didn't get your opinion on it. Yeah, Which side are you my on? opinion. Awesome. The most well, important opinion. Yeah, it sounds the most like important opinion. He's Batman. Of course it is. Say it. Say it with Batman uh. voice. I know it hurts, but do it. Do it. I'm for the captain. 
Oh yeah, the okay. captain knows what he's saying. Three for three. See, I think it's. I think it's. I am uh, for the captain. Uh, of course you are. That's why you're here. Because here's, here's the thing. There's another issue that the captain has. Anyone who anyone could register to be a superhero, like you know, be a registered yeah. superhero, even supervillains. That's right. Even some supervillains actually became registered heroes. Spoilers. So in fact, at that time, Captain America became a villain, and he, villains like Venom became a superhero. That's Venom was pretty cool. Yeah, he was. Well, he still is. I still think he's pretty cool. Oh yeah. Not not the best villain uh, there is of all time. Don't a lot of people like Carnage a little bit better. Well, that's if you want more chaotic. Yeah. But I, I like Venom because he was like the original. But yes, so you, so it's three for three on the captain's side. Good. I think it's just the lesser of two evils, really. It's like, yeah. it, 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 it would be good if they were registered and they could control it somehow, like, perfectly, yeah. where it wouldn't get uh, misused, but there's no but way they can do there that. Now there isn't. So it, it, it's just better that they're not If there's registered. a system, yeah, let's do it, but... Iron Man, like, I like Iron Man more than I like Captain America. And even then, you're I mean, exciting with I, Captain America. I mean, America. just generally, okay, they yeah. both have very good points, okay? I do believe that, you know, they should be washed over. But, it's, as you said, you should be washed over by more experienced members, like Iron Man and Captain America. I think okay, they should be supervising them. I felt like in the comics... But you cannot have someone like, you know, government officials, where there is a way to corrupt these, you know, superheroes. And they use them for your personal goods. Like the United States did. Oh. oh. Mama. And with that, we will see you guys next time on the Grand Line Studios. What's that? Is that a map? Yes. It's the map. It's the map. Okay. It's the map. 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 Yes. Of Gotham City. And we will see you guys next time. This has been Captain Chopper. Mad Hatter. Also known as Batman. And yeah. the Simply Kish. Yeah. All right. And we will and see. And this is the last uh, of the Arkham. Yes, if you want to see more, let us know in the comments, and right. we can bring you more. Because luckily, Mad Hatter has a PS4. I'm about yes. to pick up my fire extinguisher for all the flames I'm gonna get. It's you a guy okay. the flames. To be honest, I don't. You're think gonna we're need like four or five because of that. We don't get serious on the show it. very often. And I think it was good to get serious for once. Yeah. Well, now it's not we, serious because you, you, you said it out loud. Yeah. That destroyed all our credibility. Oh, my gosh. Exactly. We have no credibility whatsoever. <laughs> you guys are such drama. Gone. Whatever.